I stream daily, almost daily on twitch.tv slash canister underscore mtg, so be sure to visit that if you would like to catch some of my live content. Last in deck one days ago, Goraya's Vengeance. Holy shit, it's Goraya's Vengeance played by literally everyone ever. I guess I played it too, so it is. And for full detail chat, I'm drinking a 0% Somersby Mandarin non-beer. It's not actually an alcoholic drink. So, if I make crazy plays, it's just because I wanted to make them, not because I intoxicated myself. Oh yeah, I like the pair one too, but it's not often available in the Lidl I usually go shopping to. It typically requires requires me to venture to Zabka instead. But that's my favorite 0% Summer SP. We've seen Manic Force of Negation before. Not this time though. Also, Chad remind me to sideboard in Bojuka Bog. I frequently forget to board in my Bojuka Bog against Esper, which I shouldn't be forgetting to do so please save me from myself mill over and traxa okay mill well discard rather blinds will we see good eye into ephemerate yes flips grief ephemerate ending so i have to make a decision between removing my amulet and Ephemerating Atraxa. <clears throat> my hand is safe because of one ring, so if my opponent doesn't kill my amulet, I probably will find a bounce land and amulet all over them. Alternatively, I will fail to find a bounce land and everything will suck. But you know, then they don't keep Atraxa if they. Ephemerate Grief, Prismatic Ending, Hallowed Fountain, okay. We choose to Ephemerate. That's fine. Solitude, Indulgence, Atraxa, Touch the Spirit Realm, Grizzle Brand, Watery Grave. Opponent chooses Touch, Watery Grave, Fourth Season, Zoli Dude. Sally, the find part is completely out of our control. We can use Urza's Saga to fetch a map to get a Simic Grove Chamber with it. <clears throat> Although unlikely that that's going to be what I would like to do. So when has Touch, Touch Grave Fotsy Solitude. Holy shit, it's impossible to parse that. Grief Ending, Hallowed Fun and Ephemerate. He discarded lots of cards, so we can actually, but not the one na the ones named. Touch Scarlet Watery Grave. Yes. What sees Solitude Grief Ending 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you know those 5 cards from their 7. Any chance that I am on Death Right Sean tomorrow? Yes, 100%. That's what they're doing. I drew the Gruel Turf, so. It's gonna be 
Just Mr. Beast. What chance they bomb Treasure Cruise? After my performance in the showcase challenge today, they will hopefully immediately avert the <clears throat> decision if that's what they want to do. Is Bantak allowed today? Sure. So zero percent Somers be Mandarina. Just like my win rate with Phoenix in the showcase challenge that we just played. Probably should have played a bounce land first with five mana floating to have a Tawara. My point decides to solitude. Mine is bigger, one ten though. Oh. In postport, I have two copies of Ter and the Earth, so. Clocking from triggers, yes, with 19 minutes on the clock, notably half a minute less than my opponent, we'll never be able to finish this game in time. <sighs> Am I drinking sweet chili sauce? Yes, it is alcohol-free sweet chili sauce. Have I played Amulet in Paper Kaneki? I probably played it before you were born. Have you ever been on the Pro Tour? Yeah. I had a fun interaction in... in... Uh, Chicago. Which I still am thinking about and I don't get it.
namely a guy comes up to me and says hey canister hey are you canister i'm a big fan of yours and i put earplugs in my ears and like when i have earplugs i just naturally don't say much or like don't say it loudly it's pretty common i think i ended up not using them during the tournament but just had them at first to see how it is because i i've heard that some people use it helps them focus or whatnot <clears throat> so i just you know extend my hand and like shake it and smile and the fun is like yeah i love your stream And I just like smile politely again. And then the fan says, Oh, sorry, I forgot that you don't speak English so well. And I'm like puzzled and I ask, Why do you think so? And then the fan says, well, wasn't there a tournament where they had to get a translator for you? And I say, no, that never happened. And then the fan says, okay, well, can we get a photo? And I say, yeah. Uh, and I shake his hand uh, for the photo, thinking, yeah, big fun. Sounds like watch he watches all the streams. Probably some confusion, like, I don't know, they probably mistook me for somebody slightly else, because... That was a weird confrontation. That's not how I remember it, but okay. <laughs> yeah. And four, play my whole deck. Yes. I like it this way. That way. Holy shit, my bad English leaking because I just said this way instead of that way. Alright, chat. Let's remember to bring Bojuka Bog in, Kate Pact and Karibo Seju. Thank you. X Blitz and X for taking care of me. Turn the Earth is actually Giga based. It's actually better than Endurance sometimes. And it's not too bad as living in either. Work colleague told me that Polish people like to swear in complete sentences instead of saying just fuck or other words. Is that true? Hmm. Yeah, that's universally true for those with the quality of being a Polish person. But it is very possible to build 
contrived phrases that oftentimes make no literal sense but carry emotional value swear sentences so fair but also like you know hard to say it is possible that much i can say <clears throat> He's a I'll phenomenal keep. control player. Good luck in your card tournament. Tournament. Tomorrow ban for modern. What do you think? I have no idea what's gonna happen tomorrow. I'm curious. There is gonna be a <clears throat> fun talk announcement stream. So make sure to tune in. Election day in Brazil. Holy shit. That's crazy. Delta discarded. I think we win. Holy shit, my Mr. Beast is gonna die immediately. That is so sad. What an ugly island is this. Actually, no, it's a pretty nice hole. Oh no, Mr. Beast just comes into play and dies. Sad. Four amulets, giga trigger overload. Good thing we have 30 minutes for that. Colossus died because it has zero toughness when it enters the battlefield as I had no lens. Because <clears throat> I played a semi grove chamber. I lost my Urza Saga. I used my Mikosin Gardens to copy my amulet and I played my semi grove chamber which bounced itself after producing 8 mana. So. You can shuffle Mr. Beast and replay him with Turn the Earth. I think playing the Colossus turns is way easier on paper than it is on model. It's like you just put lands into play and you put them in a... When I resolve Colossus in paper I just put the lands in a pile and I say I tap them once at 13 mana. I ask my opponent if they want me to keep track of the colors. If not I just assume I have all the colors. They typically are intimidated by that question. They say no you don't have to. <clears throat> but then also like immediately after you play it right and they die so it actually doesn't matter oh i have four amulets holy shit bully player i mean i'm just asking politely i am taking no for an answer it's just that no one wants to say no
think I've had six amulets out once. Once you have six amulets, then it's better to keep Minkos and Guardians in your hand to copy your ring as it enters, as Minkos inventors. I'm fetching Otawara first. This way my opponent cannot soul to the Femerate. So now I'll make another Titan. I'm assuming I might need to be double solitude and effeminate. Like considering what if my opponent has that. And I beat that easily. But I unwisely spend all of my colors I shouldn't have. It's not gonna cost me, but it's really awkward. He's a phenomenal control player. Oh, three years. Oh. Alzik, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel for uh, a long time. How many times have I packed it? Five? Four, I think.
second stream no it's the first stream i hadn't streamed in the morning So just your loss if you had less time. No, oh, then I would just play quicker. Make less titans and still win. But maybe have a slightly awkward situation against like triple solitude, ephemerate hand. Packed for dryads. I could do that, yeah. I wanted to save one pact for a Mr. Beast, but probably that's worse. Imagine having an Eldrazi now. What Eldrazi? Eldrazi Sky Spawner, solid. Holy shit, they had solitude, yeah. <clears throat> well played opponent. Classic GG now scooping. Oh, shame did you added up all the damage from Valaku triggers like Balatra and made the screen shake. That would be so fun. Holy shit, that would be great. Now, the prelim round. Two Grove Chambers, no real land. Sad. I will mulligan. I will keep put back a pact, potentially turn free ring. Playing as Bedevil, leading on a Bloodstained Mire into Snow Covered Swamp. What's this? What's is? Take Zamulet. Negative is good, but not now. I know that negative is good, but I know it was also the egg. I know that generally it's strong. 
Like my my head gets it. It's actually pretty simple. Two snow covered swamps. It's just scum, snow scum. Ragavan Nimple, Pilferer. Oh no, my Vesuva entered the exile zone. Will my opponent flash Bow Master's UT? Nope. Interesting. If Fox is on ring, play ring would be rough. <clears throat> Seems like they're attacking instead, that's good. Commercial district enter the exile zone, oh no. Amulet, that's a good draw. For the future turn. Interesting fetch. I guess I just don't have anything. Ah, bought the game yesterday and had a blast free runs and had me hooked. Same. Really weak draw from my opponent. I didn't do anything the entire game. Hmm. Is it possible that the best place to play? Amulet Otawara the Voidwalker. I'm thinking of what happens if it makes different moves. If I play Amulet and Copy, if they do have something that can kill Amulet at instant speed, let's say a random main deck K command, I could actually lose to that. It's not really a card that anyone. No, oh, 1 in 34% of decks. It makes sense for them to have something like K command. If I just play another ring, then they get to Voidwalker the other one ring. Bounce the Voidwalker. I mean, they just draw one card, and like, I'm. I should beat them through protection, it's just gonna take time. Let's play under ring. It's it's gonna be fine. Search for Dryad and double Valakut. If my opponent is holding three blanks on hand, then sure I should do that. Seems like Villain wasn't interested in casting the One Ring. How is this game so awkward? We could cast Titan. Yeah. Like, the problem is that I'm thinking about K Command. Happening. Yeah, I'm afraid of K Command. It just makes a lot of sense to be in my opponent's hand. And I'll just want to play around it, but like. It's very hard. K common terminate, let's say. So if I play Amulet, play Bounce Land, I have six mana, but I also don't have double green. Play Amulet, copy Amulet. As I said, I am afraid of. I am thinking of implications of a K command. How much credit do we give them?
Sun Tzu once said, he who re credits respects his opponents is cringe. I get it. I don't get villain is just holding nothing. So it was just plans, combat tricks, ragavans, maybe if what's he's drawn after I started playing my rings. I'm gonna draw so Grazer is good. I'm gonna draw so Sagabad. Can board one endurance. So we can pact for endurance when villain protects their magus. A combat trick, an undying combat trick. I think it makes a little bit of sense. Not too much, but a little bit. Sometimes you have a big hand and just need to get rid of magus. Especially after you rang <clears throat> the one rang. Reminder, bog. Not here, not this matchup. Well, my point is sideboarding, we can cash out from Balatra and we can buy a holographic misprint. And we're all with it. Of course, I get the stupid endurance in my opening hand. That's pretty bad, though. Let's keep it. Ah, <sighs> misprint is insane early game. Seems pretty good, yeah. This is the same hand as previously, the amulet and Palaku T West Pinner Pool. Dash Monkey. No, my amulet of vigor. I'll fetch forest play dryad next turn. District seems blank against Ragavan, anyways. So say a good play against Moon. Shouldered. Spooky. But they need to remove Dryad. Oh, my life points. Oh. I think I need to play as pick up the forest. So it actually doesn't trigger next turn. <clears throat> Unless I draw an untapped land for my Titan. For mana 6-5, honestly, true. Terminate targeting Dryad. Sad. And Dash Monkey. Meow, so it's Kitka. Shouldred's 5 toughness matches up pretty well against my... <clears throat> Well, everything. So 
Storm's Wrath specifically. Time to hardcast 3, I die by hardcast 3. Well, actually I don't. So it's, an, it's interesting, do I... Patch for forest? Or do I try to draw an untapped land? Or amulet? I fetch forest. Draw dryad. That doesn't even let me live though. Okay, let's board out the Endurance and let's board out two Grazers, keep two Sagas on the play. And we need Stomping Grounds anyways. I don't play Stomping Grounds right now. Storm's Wrath wasn't an out. So for multiple reasons the answer is no. Or rather not quite. Why not for Grazer still? Is the opponent taking out Dragavans? No, but the opponent is on the draw and I'm on the play. So opponent is playing Fotsis and Bragavan Grazer is bad against Fotsis. It's a really nice hand. So Bragavan is, <clears throat> or rather Grazer is just so much worse on the draw. And he's worse against Fotsis. And for example I have this line of Amulet into Dryad, which blocks Bragavan on time too, on the draw but not on the play. On the play but not on the draw. And against Grief Scam, I really don't want to have a Grazer in my hand, which is a blank worse than a land most of the time after getting hit by that. Combo. Oh, it seems like they're pitching because they're like taking much, much more time. Nope. Okay. Chaga, chaga. What do they take? The ring. Fair. If my opponent has Molten Collapse, I would prefer to hold the Dryad in hand. And if I have Double Amulet, I'll probably should be decent. Just play Voidwalker or something. Buddy. Friend. Dash Ragavan. Yes, yes, I dash. Oh no, my Titan. Can't wait to get Force of Despair. Probably no Force of Despair. Holy shit, we had it so good with Radio Kappa. We didn't even know.
What are you even playing, 65? What are those? What really prompted you to do so? For this puzzling choice of playing a 65 card Lotus Field deck. Strong, a very good matchup. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven eight. Now I don't even die to force of despair pre damage. Would I ever consider putting out a YouTube short or something explaining how I resolve big titan or Mr. Beast turns in paper, like how you show your opponents all the triggers, etc. That actually sounds pretty interesting. It would make sounds like a reasonable piece of content to create. Understandable Ardoshik, that makes perfect sense. I'll come back to playing Balatra, but yeah, you maybe I should that should be that should be a good thing to cover in a short. I'll keep this. It's a decent mirror hand. It bounced on away from turn 3 dominating. Boseju. Ready to Boseju a tiny bit if needed. Villain is evaluating their hand, but. Let's make an 8 into a chariot card because of the superposition <clears throat> and maybe let's reroll to get like anything that does anything mystic sami does anything against the water especially two three five high card jack Trying to draw this fail. In the meantime, villain mulgans to five cards. Fair. Is it reasonable to play like that? It's probably not particularly reasonable. Oh, we like getting close. 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, straight we get a tarot card, poke jump. Have you managed to complete a run yet? Yes. In fact, many times I... More often complete them than not, if I might brag a little. Well, that's probably not even true, that's probably not true, but... <clears throat> yes, I have. And we're currently playing at the red stake, which is available after you have completed a run. Balatra looks addictive. That is because it is. What level of ascension is this run? It's the first ascension. Or the second ascension? Does it start on ascension 1 or 0? This latest spire.
Should I copy out of there or not? Like, does it open up anything for me? Still just dry bounce land or not? I'll copy and draw the boss line, otherwise I'll die. Unfortunately, it was almost impossible to out on this while going to free, while being on a play rather. Nobody went to free up villain mold to five. I did not. No cards for the mirror. Let's try again. A green source for Bosejo would have allowed me to hit the bounce line and survive. But then we don't get to play the Mikosin Garden, so. I guess if I have like Bosejo Green Source and then Bounce Land on top of that, then we win. On the draw, we break the serve, but my hand was a bit too weak to break to to beat turn free kill OTP, which is maybe since my hand needed to draw the Bounce Land too, it was actually Mulligan on the draw, because he knows I'm playing Amulet too. And just Mulgans to a turn free kill every time. Of course, you can also be smart and have a turn two kill, but yeah, my cyborg does not contain any mirror match hate. It's both pretty hard to to hate. You have to play Force of Vigor, which is only good against the mirror. Or like extra Bosejo or Explorers. Like Force of Vigor is also the only one that works. Because it works on the draw. And it kind of punishes people for the behavior of Mul getting to three to four cards to find the strong opening. So Force of Vigor actually pretty great in the mirror, but I don't want to be playing Force of Vigor just for the mirror. It's also just, you know, a ceasefire. I don't play Force of Vigor, I expect other amulet players also not to spend a card, a sideboard card on, on a tech that's only good in the mirror. This is a 5, let's keep this. Yeah, the player should also do that, no ley lines. Then life is just easier for everyone. Unfortunately, a bad apple smells the rot the entire apple. Or how did that saying go exactly? Is this memory card I don't want anymore in my board? Uh, no, I don't want this member. I prefer the sweeper. Let's see where the card is. Not even the saga? Oh no, unlucky. Am I unable to kill him now? I misstacked my triggers against Force of Vigor, but I lose to Force of Vigor anyways. <clears throat> Get to have double Bosejo up at least, so... I should emerge victorious even though I had drawn the mirror pool.
Yeah, that's the best I can do. Could also get a Tawara, a Tawara the amulet. But the point decides that just attacking is fine. And I click submit again. And this time I'm on the draw, so I literally can't win, so I'll look at my shop instead. I'll buy the nacho cheese. I'll go auto sell the tower and you're gonna go spectral pack playing around set your money to zero so we get polychrome to random joker to destroy all other jokers or convert all cards in hand to a random rank all right what rank is it gonna be kings now we have 12 kings in the deck Okay, doubles your money, max of 40, I wish. This is actually a keep. Bounce on makes it pretty good. I can, even without the bounce on, I can play the turn to try out keep up with If I draw non-bounce lands, then play the ring. Villain plays forest into grazer, that's weak. 46. Bounce on means they turn to ring in my hand. Holy shit. Plus Bosejo kept up. Actually it doesn't. No Bosejo kept up. Oh wow. I don't see a ring in your hand. Okay. I think you're being funny or... Now I drew a Titan. I played the Crampling Vestige. I'll tap it. Make mana of green color. Play the amulet and pass with Boseju. And should I kill the amulet when my bank copies amulet? Actually, I actually think so. Villain only has two cards. No, I mean, what is he gonna do? Two amulets, two lands. He plays a pass on my Bosejo it. Let's say he has a Bosejo for my Grove Chamber. What do I prefer then? I play Grove Chamber, he destroys it. I get the district, I go to four mana, bounce the vestige. I think I prefer for him not to have amulets. If the game might last a bit more. A bit longer. If he just plays a ring, I'm fine. I win. He just passes with Bosejo, I'm fine. Holy shit, he has Bosejo with me. top We have broken the serve and I won on the draw chat. I think it is impossible for him to win with one card in hand and one top deck. So, yeah, Vesuva, copy Vestige, <laughs> nice. Play Titan, 
die. Unless he's gonna play Blood Moon. Titan. Titan your seed bells, chat. TOS. Sure. Whoa. Fail to float? We have three of the problem. Lord Beerus, one day ago, Living End. Let's play against Living End. Keep. I think I use the grazer, although there is some... Somewhat reasonable to not use the grazer. Late cards with club suit give plus 8 mold when scored. Okay. Probably not good in my deck. Construct making and next turn ring. It's not like the construct does much, but <clears throat> doesn't hurt to deal a few damage with it. Villain Mulgan to six. Forest cycles. Is he going to find a fetch base? No, forest. And then EOT street rave. What is the advantage of EOT street rave cycling ever? Who knows? One might say it probably is not. Okay. I amulet. If I had a main deck bog, would I play bog here? Why not? Ring. Are you phoning? Nope, that's nice. So I have a bounce land. Deal free damage here. What's my reasoning for turn the earth in the sideboard? Isn't it bad because if the living end opponent has interaction for it, it is fun anyways? No, no, they have like... Force of Negation is a card that some living end players, maybe even three in board. I don't know if they should because of the one ring, but... Feels like they sometimes have not too much of it. And they for sure will have all the subtleties. It's not too good to draw multiples of endurance ever, I felt like. And it's also an instant, so like if they cast Charles Age and they it's not gonna work. It's resistant to grief too. I mainly put it in my sideboard because of the Aspergor Io deck, and the Aspergor Io deck relies on grief. Sometimes it grief scams you, and then it really wants to reanimate the Traxa, and having flashback on your graveyard hate spell is really good. And sometimes your opponent will have a big graveyard, and turn the earth only gets rid of a few creatures, which might be bad, but works fine against. Like, Titan can beat small living ends, goes bigger. Really, outburst, that's interesting. Pawn, 
sell the phone phone. I'm guessing that there is no force in my opponent's hand and it's unlikely that there will be one because they would need to draw it out of 20, 24 cards, I think. But yeah, if you draw multiple endurances, you can't even pitch to... Don't have enough green, like, it's pretty hard to cast multiples. So, they're running pretty, pretty poorly. The redundancy. Play Grove Chamber. Pick up Forest, I think. Sergio, that's good for me. Point sand seems to just be really dry. I get subbed on this. It would make sense. I likely still get to fog with ring for another turn then. This cyborg living end seems easy to beat. Certainly graveyard hate helps, yeah. Having five graveyard hate cards goes a long way. Or a special to sub. Agent. Makes sense. Scry bottom. How many scry stop? Not a single one. Would you also use this cyborg in paper? Sure. Although you probably would play against less Asper, so less graveyard decks in general. Other amulet would make things easier. Should face. I'll have five mana. Untap amulet. Well, untap turf and bounce back for grazer. <clears throat> Sound grazer put Vesuva into play. Should face twice. If that doesn't work for any reason, I can cast ring and fog. Okay. So when I have two turn the earth and two endurance, I think I might no longer be interested in s using defense greed against them. Because I have four instants that I want to cast myself. Means I keep one saga. Let's keep two sagas. A saga can fetch map that can fetch Bojuka Bog too. That's useful. Holy shit, Pyrus has disconnected. Seems like we have a few minutes to play Paul Atro. Spectral pack. My hands is already smaller.
but so what? This one is not discovered, so I feel compelled to buy it, even though I'm not particularly a clubs deck. In fact, most of my kings are blue. And Lord Beerus is back. We have Generous End and Turn the Earth. That's kind of a combo. Radiant Fountain. Packed for Endurance eventually. Ha, <clears throat> <laughs> grieve this. Takes the amulet, which means we're gonna play the slower game, which is fine. I'll district, since I drew the district. Ring, ring is a card I'm happily drawing. So I'll cast turn the earth and villains upkeep on turn two, probably. Which then dodges Force of Negation too. Waker, Grief, Oliphant. And I discard my end, so I have an end. So for now, our living ends would be matched. And we get to play for a longer time. Really? That doesn't seem to lead anywhere for my opponent. Unless I get endurance. No? Sure. So like that gives my opponent no attacks and I have 27 life. And play the one ring on the next turn. Wow, this Kryon seems rather good in Titanos. I'm not sure if it's better than Stomping Ground, still. Might be. Nice. Now I just win. Image free crop rotation coming. Do you think crop rotation will be particularly good in Titan? I wouldn't think so. Not enough place for both. I'll play forest for sure. Two forests for sure. And then stomping ground. I like brand free forests for the most part. Would need to cut a real land to like a utility land to introduce that seems a bit rough. So now the living end gets pretty big. Nice hand. Honestly, maybe I should discard Titan EOT. Colossus. Like, I have the ring ticking. Uh, if the time is on my side, I can pay for the pack, no trouble. Maybe I should uh, cast the turn the earth now though, probably. If villain casts living in right now, then I get to untap with all that mana. So I'm not afraid of outburst. Okay. I think it was actually a pretty good line, like it was, you know, posted with a cup in the chat, but 
It's actually a pretty good suggestion. Thank you for that. I was thinking of getting endurance practically. Made sense too, but. GG's. Yeah. I got nothing left here, yeah. I mean, yeah, if the Albert is all it, all it ha all he has, then but certainly the cyborg hate helped. And also, sometimes you can just like the only you can beat leaving, and the only issue is that it comes back with a grief that. Yeah, I was thinking of fetching Endurance, main phase, and casting it, but... Um, oh, I was then weaker to subtlety, and then... If I fetch Colossus and discard it, then I'm not weak to subtlety, so that was basically my decision-making here. Then Colossus beats this board pretty easily with this, you know, hand, this, ma this amount of mana. What does the overlay say waiting for round 5? Many years ago, prelims used to be 5 rounds. And the overlay hasn't been updated since then, I think. So we follow the prelim. Um, doing a little bit better in the prelim than we did in the... Showcase.